everybody good to go? Yeah. What did you think cost you in the first half, Aaron? Second 20. Yeah, we lost that. It was, I think it was 29 minutes in the game at 6-4. Uh, we, we know they come out hard, mate. And uh, we managed to really win that arm wrestle there for a while. And uh, I think um, kick pressure penalty, herders, and then we need to find field position. We tried a short kick and then they just turned up the uh, tempo of the game between the 20 minute mark and the 40 minute mark. And they won that 18-0 and that's what, where we lost the game. Do you think if that same bit hadn't have happened that you would have got back into the game? I think, I think you know, our start in the second half was much, much better than um, we played the, the second 20 of the first half. I thought the start of the game, I thought we were managing field position really well uh, until, until that penalty and then that kick. But um, well, would we get back in the game? Well, we did. That's the story to that. I think our tempo was much quicker than theirs at that period of time. Sorry, Paul, I know you benefited from the decision. Were you, miss, were you equally mystified by that? I didn't even look into it, mate. That's not for me to worry about. That's the referees. It goes either way. So I don't concern myself on what, what, what happened. It's just what happens next. What happens next, well, we, need to, we need to score, which we did, you know. Are you a bit happier than you would otherwise have been with the, you know, the three tries and the closest score to one? Or? I, was, I was unhappy with that 20 minute period. Yeah. Um, you know, and I'm sort of mystified a little bit why. In, in the stage of the, where the season's at and what we needed to do, um, you, know, to, you know, to lose that period 18-0, um, yeah, I'm not happy about that. Sorry, sorry. Gareth, um, what, I mean, was, was that, the sympathy, was, did that change the momentum of the game for you guys out on the field there? Yeah, yeah well, obviously, it definitely helped. Um, you know, like Mary said before, I thought we started to second up quite well, a lot of energy, and, you know, with the sim bin in, um, you know, definitely helped, and we gained a lot of momentum, we got right back in the game, and you know, a few things didn't go our way at the end then, and you know, in the end we didn't get the result. Well, that was a sort of sudden move game, I yep. mean, I suppose the season was a bit like the game in that year, it was a bit of a rearguard action at the end, but it just wasn't quite good enough, is that the way you sort of... Yeah, it has been, it's, you know, like, I thought when I took over that we needed to finish on 28, you know, in the end we, we, we needed to finish on 30. 14 games to go. I wanted to win eight, and eight of the 14. I uh, thought that was achievable. We play Newcastle next week. We can still reach that goal of, of finishing on 28 points, which is a good finish to the year. But um, you know, like I, you know, you'd always like to make semi-finals when it comes down to the game tonight. And, you know, we didn't. Have, we had that period that uh, was important to us, and, and we didn't manage it. So. Um, you know, we've got to, and I spoke to the boys about it, when we've been playing the better sides, we've got a 15 minute window in us uh, where we're not playing full, the full 80 and when, when you play against quality teams and they, they see that, they, um, they go for the kill, it'll be better than that. Um, you said, you've talked about making changes for next year, what in tonight's performance, what changes can you make to rectify that? I'll have a review of the video first and have a real good look at it, but you know, it, it's obviously, um, in time, when I get some time, because there's only five day turnaround, they've done us heaps of favours about that. Played on a muddy park on Sunday and back it up five days later with the travel. That helps. Heaps. It's not quite deal. You're out of final condition down there, but I guess you've just been appointed long term. Does it still sort of feel like it's not got a bit of a beginning for you guys in a way, rather than like an ending? Oh, absolutely. Like, just without a doubt. Like, this group's only been together for, with me. Thirteen weeks, and um, you know we need to improve. We know that, but we've got a good group there. We need to work hard. Same for you, Gareth. As a player, I mean, you were his words in the middle of the season that Harry coming forward now is appointed long term. Is the same feeling for you guys? Yeah, definitely. I was disappointed that the finals are achievable now, but you know, I think as a group over the last 10, 12 weeks, we've definitely grown. We've got a good young squad here, and you know, like I said, we definitely been building over the last number of weeks, which is you know a real positive move forward. Mary, what do you know of Canterbury's interest in Brett Miles? What do I know of it? He's under contract for next year, as far as I know. But do you know, do you know whether they've expressed any interest? Not at all. We're looking to extend him if we can. And just, and just for yourself, um, um, front row, like there's the talk of Sam Cassiano and other front row enforcement, is that an area you're looking to stock up in? 
again, I'll have a full review in a couple of weeks, mate. I'll have a time to do that. But everyone keeps telling me we need a front row, so we must. Would you agree? Oh, I don't know. Everyone said we didn't have size six weeks ago, and then that went away. It depends when you're winning or losing, mate. It depends what everyone wants. So I'll have a real good look at it, and uh, you know, in the next couple of weeks, have a good look at our cap and where we're at, and see what we can do. Oh, the well, we, the group hasn't been together for very long. We've got a very, we've got new, two new arms, a new fullback, two new centres, a young young forward pack. We lost Benny Cray earlier tonight. That didn't help. He's our most senior player. And he's our captain. We lost him after 12 minutes. That can't help a young pack, can it? If he stays on the field. We talk about them getting the sin, but now we're talking about losing your captain. Might have made a difference in the outcome of the game as well. Was that an ankle injury? Yeah. Yeah, he's getting scared, mate. It doesn't look good. Jared, as a player, I know you get for that the same time, but the same injury to is that a concern as a player that uh, playing a lot back happened in the finals as a new last year? Yeah, yeah I think it's not really for me. I, mean, I just, we just play the game. The rest made that decision. Not, you know, at the time, we were just focused about playing and getting back in the game because we were behind there a little bit. So, like I said, the rest made a decision we just got on with it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, boys. Thanks, Eddie, the radio.